Okay, so let's look for example 2. So we have all this information and we know that our acid is our C2H5COOH, carboxylic acid. Hence, the other species is our strong conjugate base. So here I'm just going to write down okay, what we have in the container ataupun um, in a flask lah yang apa kita ada. Uh, it's actually our uh, acid. Lepas tu, we have our conjugate base. Okay, so sekarang ni, there are concentration and each of the volume. However, bila kita mix and around, so sekarang ni, the volume would be berapa? Campurkan dua-dua ni. Hence, we get the new volume of the solution when we mix it. It's 775 ml. Okay, but right now, the concentration bukan lagi apa yang ada. It will have a new concentration. So, how we're going to find out the new concentration is by using M1 V1 equal to M2 V2. Okay, so I'm just going to find each of the concentration for my acid dengan my song conjugate base. So, I'm just going to substitute the value to find the new concentration. So, this is for your acid. And next, I'm going to find out um the concentration of my conjugate base pula. So, M1 V1 equal to M2 V2 masih lagi. Okay, so now I know that my concentration is 0 0.2903 molar. Okay, so and then yang concentration acid pun 0 0.0887. Okay, so now what I'm going to do adalah I'm going to write down the equation. So for the dissociation. Remember, if it's strong, if it's weak acid, so it's partially dissociate. So I'm just going to write down the concentration as well. One to one ratio semua ni. Okay, and next I'm going to write down for your conjugate base. Okay, so the other strong conjugate base, it will be fully dissociated. Okay, and then write down the punya concentration of each. Okay, so sekarang ni, uh, I know in my container, I have all, all these spe six species. So, what I'm going to do now is what question minta pH. So, I'm just going to write down my uh, formula. Tapi again, yang ini adalah your general formula. Next, I'm just going to be more specific. Log of your conjugate base. What is your conjugate base dalam dalam kes kali ni? Okay, oops. Okay. So, it'll be your C2H5COO minus. That is your conjugate base. Divide by your acid. So, kalau acid ni, apa ni? Is your C2H5COOH, your carboxylic acid. So, kalau dua. Your ethanoic acid is 3. So, okay. So, I'm just gonna substitute the values directly. Okay. So, apa is from my concentration yang kita dah carilah from our yang first step tadi tu. Okay, but then, untuk yang besok, kita akan ambil the strong one. Dia ada dua. But which one we're gonna take? The high concentration one. The higher concentration. Sebab for this case, we have two different value. Kalau example one tu, kita sebab dua-dua value yang sama. Tapi kalau if it has two different value, so what I'm going to have is actually, um, apa ni nama dia? Uh, what I'm going to choose is the one with the higher concentration. Hence, I will get my pH. Okay, so now we're going to look at question B. Where's the addition of HCl. So, I'm just going to write down the dissociation. So, I know uh, H plus 2 is my acid. So, I'm going to do. Okay, so kita akan tengok which species yang akan react dengan acid. Okay, just a summary. Acid tak nak react dengan acid. Tak nak react the one with the same charge lagi. Tapi, dia nak react dengan base which have a high concentration. Okay, so I'm just going to. Okay, so check satu-satu. So, this is your acid. So, Miss tak nak. Okay, next one is your um. H plus and then this is your strong conjugate uh, base your salt tu. Tapi it's fully dissociated. So, kita akan cancel out. And then, adanya Na plus. Na plus ni is the same charge. So, I'm just going to cancel out. So, what I have here is the base one. But we're going to choose the one with the higher concentration. So, I'm just going to um, write down the equation. My C2H5, eh, C2H5COO minus ni react with the added acid. Okay. And then, kita akan ambil concentration, the higher one. The higher concentration. Okay. Okay, for your acid, even though uh, it's not um, apa ni, chosen in your solution, it's not chosen, but it is actually there. Yang ni miscancel out sebab 
Dia hanya untuk kamu punya What do you call that? Uh, nak tahu which species right dengan which species lah okay, So yang ini miss uh, edit balik eh, Concentration tu silap kan So ada mana-mana yang salah tu tolong Betulkan balik lah especially part 1 okay, So kali ni change dia kita akan ambil The smallest value which is our Acid lah dalam kes ni Which is 0.02 okay, So kita akan minus kan And plus uh, uh, When necessary Seri memang kena buat lah kan Okay so right now Gonna uh, find out our pH So masukkan sahaja dalam formula But make sure write down dulu lah The log of CH3 COO minus Divide by CH3 COOH Oops Okay nanti betulkan lah sebenarnya yang ini adalah Your acid dengan your conjugate base adalah C2H5 kan Okay but then make sure masukkan Nanti betulkan juga dalam kamu punya nota Okay, so hence you will get your pH is equal to 5.27. Okay, next we're going to look at question C where we're going to add 0 0.02 molar of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so when we dissociate, we're interested in with OH minus. Okay, so again kat sini I'm just going to copy paste the equation to know which again react dengan OH. Okay, so again OH minus dia tak nak react dengan base, dia tak nak react dengan the same charge. Lepas tu dia tak nak uh, react dengan your stable ion. Tapi apa yang dia nak react kan? Dia nak react dengan acid. Preferably tak higher concentration. Okay. So. Macam mana cancel out yang base dengan same charge. So ada tinggal 3 sahaja. Okay. So next. Na plus is your stable ion. So kita pun akan cancel out kan. Okay. So what we have left is actually. I will see 2H5COOH dengan H+. Again, your weak acid will partially dissociate. So, when it's partially dissociate, H+, kita ni sebenarnya is actually low concentration. So, kita akan pilih the one with C2H5COOH. Hmm, ayam ni. Okay, and then I'm just going to write down dengan equation OH-. Okay, but then remember, acid dia akan donate H+. Okay, kalau base dia akan accept H+. So, that's why nanti kita akan dapat our equation to be, dah donate dah. So, buanglah H+, kita. We left with CH2, C2H5, COO minus. Okay, so liquid kita akan cancel, um, tak ada concentration. Okay, so I'm just gonna insert the value. Okay, so C2H5, COO, H2 kita akan ambil the one with the higher concentration. So, untuk change, kita akan minuskan dengan smallest value. So, itu yang beza ice dengan ICF table ni. ICF ni kena change dah ada value dia lah. Ice table X tu kita tak tahu lagi. We're gonna find out later. But then, this is kalau buffer, kita guna ICF. So, kita akan masukkan sahaja dalam formula kita. Log C2H5COO minus over dengan kita punya acid. So, I'm just gonna substitute the value. Masukkan dalam apa concentration kita yang baru ni lah. The one in our ICF table. Okay. So, now my pH is 5.52. So, that's the, the end of example 2.